Okay, so I'm going to show you how to add up a bunch of numbers so that you can see the total cost and the subtotal cost, so that if you want to see it by quarter or by month, you can sort it down and get a good look at that. So let's get started. First, we're going to convert these numbers to currency numbers, so it actually looks like currency. So we're going to highlight the numbers. We're going to right-click and then go down to Format Cells. And in this window, we're going to go down, we're going to select the Number tab and then click on Currency. And then since we want two places on the decimals, that's already set. The symbol will show a dollar sign. We're just going to click on none because that's kind of superfluous. And you click OK, and you can see now these all look like currency numbers, which is what we're trying to accomplish. OK, the next step is to figure out the total cost for all these. Well, if you add, if you had, select them all, you can see that the sum should add up to $100,210. That's just kind of a check there to see that we are actually doing this correctly. So let's go up to the total cost cell, and we're going to do a little function we're going to click on the FX here, and we're going to click on Sum, and, and OK. And then we're going to type in the first cell that's got a number in it, which is E4 here. And we're going to put a colon, and then we're going to type in the last cell number. You can see down here it's E20. So we're going to click on E20, I'm going to type in E20, and then hit the Return key or OK. We'll just hit OK. And now you can see $100,210. That adds up to what these are supposed to. See? So that means that this total cost is correct. The next step is to subtotal these so that we can see this, these numbers by the quarter and how those numbers reflect the, in the quarter or the month. So we're going to do a little, another little formula. This one is very simple. We're going to click on the cell and we're going to type in equals and then the word subtotal. And then we're going to open a parenthesis or the left parenthesis and you're going to type the number 9, comma, and we're going to put the same cell numbers, E4 colon E20, close parenthesis. Oh, and E20, sorry about that. And then you hit OK or Return. And you can see now this number is the same as this number. It's not formatted correctly, so we're going to reformat that. Again, right click, Format Cell, Currency, get rid of the dollar sign, uh, click OK. And now you can see those numbers add up. OK, the next step is to be able to filter these down. The first step to filtering is to highlight the cells that you want to filter. And then you go up to the, the Sort and Filter tab, and you click down on Filter. Notice that puts little squares up here. Now this gives you an opportunity to select which quarter you want. For example, in Q1, say, this is your spend. And notice this number changed, so now it shows what you spent in Q1. This is the amount of money you should have to 17470 17470 Or you can do the same thing for the month, which let's just pick, say, February. And now you can see the spend in February was $8,570. You can tell that's already correct. And that's how you do total and subtotal. 